Hey, I'm Felix and today I'm going to demo the new Lambda functions that Microsoft introduced in December to their Microsoft 365 subscribers on the beta channel. Now, they are great, but they are, have also a lot of things that are not so great. And I'm going to show both of these sides today and most importantly, how we can improve the not so great features. So I only have access to Lambda functions in my version of, of uh, Mac here, which is why I'm shooting this on my Mac. So basically, what are Lambda functions? So Lambda functions are an extremely easy way to define a functions that you give a name to. So previously that was only available to do in VBA. So now instead of having to say, you know, this times two, you can go into formulas and click on define name. On Windows, you would actually click on name manager, but we don't have that here on the Mac. So just go here and create a new formula. We could call that double and then we give it the formula lambda and then assign basically as the first argument here, we, uh, well, just name the argument and then give it the, the formula. So that would be something like that. We say, okay. And now instead of doing what we did just before, I can now just call the double function and it will do the same for me. Now that's obviously not very useful in this very simplistic um, example here, but you know, when we go to a little bit of a more realistic example, one from my uh, blog post that I will link below here in the video, uh, you can actually see that this 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 function here takes a, a, a temperature in either Fahrenheit or Kelvin and transforms it into degrees Celsius. Now, instead of having to do this on, on every row, and, and, and having to potentially change a lot of these formulas once you have to adjust um, bits of the formula, you can define that as a two Celsius um, lambda function. And that just makes it so much easier to understand what's going on. And you basically, if you got it right one time, you get it right everywhere. You, 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 know, you, be, you can be sure you're not introducing an error um, by maybe having a slightly different formula if you do it on somewhere else in your in your spreadsheet. So let's go back and have a look at, at how this looks. I've previously added the two Celsius formula here with the two inputs here, um, the degrees and the source, and the source is going to be Kelvin or Fahrenheit, and the degree is obvious. Um, it's it's the number of degrees in the in the other uh, scale. So. Um, having this available like that allows us to really just, you know, replace these calls and say to, to Celsius and you should then be able to get the same out of it. But we obviously have to um, link to the two arguments here. And there we go. And then we can just, you know, uh, pull down the formula as we are used to it. So that's really awesome. It's mainly awesome because you do not have to learn VBA to be able to do that. It's awesome because it, you know, is explicit in what it does. And it's awesome because you can change a formula in a single place, which is the named range manager here, the defined name manager. And um, it, it, it automatically will adjust throughout your workbook. So these are all awesome things. What's not so awesome though is that um, you have no mechanism to share these formulas across your workbooks. And that's that's pretty bad because you know if if I'm an accountant and I have all I add all these formulas I, 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 I need all the time, then I would have to manually add them to every new workbook. And this obviously potentially introduces the opportunity for me to introduce errors whenever I set them up in a new workbook again. So what I've done to, to get around this issue is basically I've written two small Python scripts. Again, you can take them from my blog post here. So uh, basically down here, you have these Python scripts that you can just copy paste. And 
I have them here and so basically what I'm able to do is I can get a report for uh, a specific directory and it shows me which lambda functions are contained in all of these files so let's say I'm interested in, in, in going into my lambda function folder which has also some subfolders here and I'm just interested in getting the a report of what lambda functions I have in all of these. So I'm assuming you know your way around Python. If you don't, um, have a look into Anaconda or, or the, the WinPython distribution to get started. And once you're set up, then it's usually just either uh, opening it up into a Visual Studio code here, uh, clicking the play button, and that will generate the lambda functions report and so as you can see it's going to go through all of these workbooks and give you the lambda function that we have here so in the first one we just have uh, really one lambda functions and in all the other ones we don't have any of these lambda functions so now there is the other script i have which allows you to actually go through all of these uh, workbooks and add specific lambda functions that you want them to have so for example here i do have again this uh, two celsius function that we've just used and i have added another two functions here that i took from the official documentation so it's really just you know a, a tuple here of an uh, of the name of the function plus the lambda um, formula and and again just specify which folder you want to go through and so if i run this script here it's going to go through my files in 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 that folder recursively through all the existing folders and as you can see here below it's 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 adding the three functions here to all of them and the good thing about that is that for example if you notice an error in one of the formulas you just have to fix it here and then run it through all of your existing files and you know it's fixed everywhere so let's just see like let's open this workbook here as an example and so if if we're lucky then um, I should just be able to use again my two Celsius function and that seems to be correctly added so that's that's a very very neat script here to be able to easily add those functions you use all the time to your different workbooks um, another thing that is really really difficult to kind of control is to be able to see what's going on in, in those formula you know assume I had an error here and and you can see what's happening like as soon as I try to use like the left and right uh, key um, you know it, it thinks I'm trying to do something here on 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 the cells so it's it's extremely easy to introduce errors here and I would recommend you to just copy the formula out um, into an editor, edit it in the editor, and then finally copy it back. That will solve a lot of issues. Nevertheless, it's extremely difficult to keep the overview here in this in this uh, little uh, few characters long text box. So I really do hope that Microsoft will add a proper formula editor, something that's pretty much um, useful outside of Lambda functions too. Anyhow, so let's close this and I'm going to show you our other system which is called Excel Trail and actually helps you keep track of all your components in a workbook. And so once you do use um, these Lambda functions, uh, you know, they just show up here as a function which is nice, but you would like to know what's really behind that function. So for that to see as you go into the define names region here where you can look at the name and the underlying formula of of this thing and so if you had you know paid close attention you can actually spot that there's an error here so it should really be 5 over 9 and not 9 over 5 so the idea now is that you fix this and 
you know, contribute, upload a new version. So just to make sure that uh, you fixed the, the correct thing. And so I have actually um, fixed this beforehand here in my uh, second version of that temperature file. I can simply upload it and say fixed um, Fahrenheit formula in, 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 that lambda, in that lambda thing. I upload it. And soon after uploading, I will have the ability to actually look at the differences between these files. So that's it. Um, I can look at the diffs. And as you can see here, um, this now allows me to really see that the red um, error here has been fixed and it's now correctly listed as 5 over 9. So that's another possibility to get a better grip on your lambda functions, which are awesome, don't get me wrong, but they are just really, really hard to manage currently because you don't have a proper editor and because it's, it's, it's sort of out of your view, right? So you kind of have to trust it and being able to just see like, you know, across multiple versions that you did not introduce an error in these um, Lambda functions is just a very nice way to um, manage those. That's all for today. Um, hope to see you soon. I'll be back with more videos on this channel.